So these were all the stages that I have gone through so far in this uh, project of starting with an observational drawing and then translating it through to more of a graphic representation of the jug by using pencil and then marker to do an outline tracing. So this was my initial observational drawing of this little jug. Then my pencil drawing is here. So that's the one that I traced by placing the tracing paper over here. Then I took a marker and I created an outline layer. I did it on a separate piece of tracing paper. You could mark directly over the lines if you wanted to. So by laying the tracing paper over top of the, just the tracing itself, I came up with this outline drawing. So I was trying out what it looked like to have a double line here to indicate where the cup or the jug actually has curves to it. And um, an outline in the handle as well to let you know that it actually has a dimension to it. And um, I decided to try out these double lines here to indicate again where the, this pottery actually has different curves and where the jug starts, etc. So then I discovered that I didn't like the way the handle looked and I didn't like what I had done here with the lines cutting across here. I felt like this shape here really describes that kind of rounded feeling of the corner. So I redrew. And the more I draw, the more problems I find. I could keep going. This is my second iteration, second version, where I made some improvements and then discovered I need to make more changes. Um, so here I carried through again with that the double line that didn't terminate up here but actually curved around. I used that strategy on these other curves as well and I improved the handle. The handle made no sense before but now by observing, re-observing the jug I figured out how to make the handle look like it's actually attached properly and you understand how it works. And what happened was in my original observation drawing I didn't pay attention to the joints of the handle to the cup, to the jug rather. And that ended up causing a problem with my contour drawing. So I looked at it, observed the jug again, and, and then picked up those lines. Um, and I tried, you know, the double line again here, double line here, this time using the same strategy, the system, to make things look really round. And then I realized that I had never indicated the back corner of this jug. I'm not sure if I really need to. I'm still debating about that. Because now that I've put it in there, compare it to the original one, do I need that? Do I need that? This is where your editing decisions start to come in. So this is as far as I'm taking this drawing today, but with your project, you're going to complete uh, your outline drawings to the, the best of your ability, starting with a pencil tracing and then using marker. And then you're also going to do another rendering where you use shading and probably a wider marker to do some shading. So you're going to be looking for contrast, right? Only highlights and only shadows. And going back to your observational drawing, you'll see where the shadows were and you can translate those uh, in marker to a variation drawing. Um, don't forget though, you can only use total coverage, 100% shading, or negative space, so blank in your next drawing. And in the final drawing, you're going to be using negative space, solid, um, solidly colored in areas to show where the shadows are, and also uh, some other kind of marker to use a line and dots 